So there it is. Filling the Eclipse up with premium unleaded. 91 octane in the States. I'm trying to get my uh, my uh, gas mileage back and lose a uh, 70% ethanol. And it is full. All right, here it is after uh, after putting a uh, high octane in. I mean premium unleaded, 91 octane in California with 10% uh, ethanol. <laughs> I just removed 70% of ethanol from my fuel system. Well, uh, anyway, it was pretty empty. It was like below E, but my gas gauge really sucks on this car. It's totally off. The dummy light didn't even go in, so I'm assuming there's still a couple gallons of E85 in there. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not idling a whole hap a lot of happy. Um, but uh, it's uh, what is it? Um, I have to I have to reprogram the ECU to run on uh, E85. I mean, uh, regular gas again. So I'm just letting it circulate through the system. Uh, like I said, there's still a couple gallons in there. It's probably gonna take a couple. Uh, it's probably gonna take a couple uh, fill-ups to get rid of all the E85. But yeah, like I said, I I haven't. Uh, so you can see it's having trouble compensating for the air fuel mixture right now. Uh, it's saying it's too rich now because. Uh, um, uh, gasoline is a uh, uh, more uh, more uh, volatile than E85. So uh, you can put the gasoline has more uh, energy in it. So you have uh, you don't have to have as much gasoline per uh, for than the E85. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reprogram that ECU, and hopefully it'll be happy. Um, but like I said, there's still some E85 in there, so I'm assuming it's gonna be. Hopefully the um, the computer can uh, can compensate for that uh, until uh, I can get the the um, 85 the full of premium. But uh, the thing is, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, I wish uh, there was like you, like I wish it was kind of like a flex fuel, like it can like uh, adjust to the octane and the E85. But uh, it's a Mitsubishi and it's not a Ford, so <laughs> only Fords do that and Chevys, I think. All right, see there. There you go. See, it's now it's saying it's it's rich, like uber rich. It's trying to compensate. So let's help it. All right, there it is with my uh, Tactrix uh, open port uh, open port dealy open port 2.0 plugged in, and my flash plug park, uh, plugged in. I got my uh, tuning laptop here, and uh, here's the USB cable for the Tactrix. Steely, open port, plug that in. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, okay, so here I have two uh, sets of, uh, come on, focus, please. Here I have two sets of, uh, of um, ROM files open. One is set for 940, um, 940, what is it, uh, 940 CC? And the other is set for 634. Now I'm running, uh, I'm running a PTE uh, 1000 injector, as you can see here. I named it PTE 1000. I'm running the SETI mod uh, modified uh, ROM for uh, DSMs, and uh, this is uh, my dead time uh, octane. Uh, so I had it set to, uh, I had it set to a 12 to 1, a 12.0 uh, air fuel ratio. Uh, when it was uh, when it was on E85, so this is the E85 uh, ROM here. So what it is is um, so I fi we found out that 940 is uh, what the car is happy with with the PT1000 injectors. And what we what I basically did is I uh, I took 30% of uh, 940 and uh, and I subtracted it from 940 and that's how I got this number 634 so when you run E85 you need to you need to inject 30 percent more fuel into the engine because it has less energy content than a uh, um, unleaded gasoline so now I just put unleaded gasoline so now I gotta put uh, I know I haven't done this in two like I don't know I've been running 85 for a couple years now and it's been okay 
the reason I am uh, changing over, well, I, I had all this preset up before I left home. So let's do this. Uh, basically, I have this ROM selected here. So right now we're we're going back to 940 cc, and with a 10.5 to one uh, air fuel ratio, it's got to be a richer um, air fuel ratio. Um, supposedly the the speed limiter is cut on this. The GSTs had no, uh, a 130 mile per hour speed limiter. Um, supposedly fuel cut was removed, but uh, it, 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 that never happened. Uh, this thing still hits fuel cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn that right now. Right to ECU. Make sure da da da's on. Make sure the car's on. Hit OK. Should start uploading it right now. You see the check engine light just went on. And when it's done flashing, it's gonna go off. So right now, writing code, writing code, writing code, and should be done. I heard the beep. There you go. So the the computer is done uh, um, reflashing the ECU, and uh, it says we're good to go. So now I'm, uh, I have the the ROM set for a 940cc uh, injectors uh, at 0 0.325 microsecond dead time with a octane uh, with a wide open throttle. Uh, uh, air fuel ratio of uh, 10.5 to 1 so a little that's pretty rich <laughs> it's safe is what they call it uh, maybe 11 will be okay but uh, it's okay for now we, we can play with it later and then there's no fuel cut supposedly no fuel cut the speed limiters removed and there, this has a check engine light on knock uh, bit set on it too so uh, so when I knock the check engine light will go off um, so that's what I just uh, um, flashed into the ECU, so hopefully it runs. Here it goes. And it runs! It's not running very happy though. Yeah, it says uh, it's really lean or something. Yeah, not happy at all. I don't have to let it run for a while. Uh, if not, we'll just put the other tune back in. But uh, yeah, it's it's a real it's a real fucking pain in the ass uh, trying to um, swap between E85 and regular gasoline. So uh, I just uh, I've had it. You know, it's E85 is harder to uh, E85 is harder to. Uh, let me turn this off so just in case I have to flash it back. But uh, just in case I have to, uh, what is it? Um, there you go. So it's already it's already starting to compensate for it. You can already tell. Like before, it was already starting to compensate for the extra fuel. Now it's it's saying it's ultra lean, ultra lean, or too lean, or too lean. We need more fuel. Yeah, we just got to drive, and the computer's got to relearn, and then we got to get all that. E85 out of the system, so it, it's going to be wonky for a while. It's just so uh, that's that's one nice thing about having a flex fuel vehicle. It'll it'll the computer can uh, see all that. See, I got a check engine light now. I don't know what it's for, but uh, I'm assuming it's because uh, I just changed the map over and it's trying to compensate. But uh, hopefully it'll run fine. It's probably uh, what it's probably doing now is probably going into limp mode and it's uh, just saying, hey, uh, something wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna dump a shit ton of fuel in there, which is what it's doing right now. It's dumping a lot of fuel in there, so the engine doesn't explode. So I'll just go drive it around for a little while and try to get it to uh, to uh, learn and uh, get acclimated to the um, the unleaded fuel. Alrighty, hey, went ahead and uh, drove around down the parking lot a little bit, and I'm letting it idle. And uh, I can tell it's starting to learn already. So the good thing about the ECU on the Eclipse, since it's uh, it it's it can um, it can compensate. I heard up to like maybe like 15 percent or 5 percent. I don't know. Uh, like if uh, if the air fuel ratio is off, it'll it'll start compensating with the injectors by dumping more fuel or taking fuel out. So I went ahead and cleared that code. It was a P0303. That's like a that's a pretty common one I get. So I don't think that's related. It probably is related. I've been having uh, 
issues with the idle hunting on this. Hopefully it'll go away uh, since I switched, but uh, we'll see. But um, So uh, it seems like uh, drivability is good. Oh, it's running pretty hot, like 206. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it for a drive a little bit, and then uh, and I gotta go to. Fremont. I pulled in the parking lot here, and uh, I just calculated my miles per gallon. All right, so uh, I've started calculating my uh, everything. So uh, I pumped at 11.7 gallons. This has like a 16 gallon tank, so uh, so there's still like like three or four gallons of 85 floating around in my gas, and. Uh, yeah, so, and uh, some interesting thing to note, my last tank I got, uh, I got 18.8 miles per gallon. That's about what it was getting originally, so, there you go. Hopefully I'll get some of that gas mileage back. 80s when I get out, and the gas is much more expensive. Well, it's a little more expensive, 230 I think E85 was just about, like, $2, but uh, regular was $2, so, hmm. I guess. So there you go. Going for a drive. For uh, safety purposes, I I I put my uh, my high low boost switch to low boost, so now it's boosting uh, regular uh, uh, just, just a regular wastegate um, pressure. So that's about like 10, 10 psi ish. So because uh, uh, if you uh, E85 uh, runs, it's running much leaner now. If there's E85 in there, so uh, I have to. Uh, Careful with the with the boosties. <laughs> I, just, I just want to do much wide open throttle for a little bit, but I just put on low boost just in case. Get this one out. <laughs> 